Today has been a super weird day for me and I'm remembering things that I don't really want to remember. So instead of remembering the kind of stuff that like I don't want to think about, I'm going to remember happy things. They made me the person that I am today. First, we have the Poison Apple books. These books were in my school's library and every single week I would borrow at least two of them and I would just constantly be rereading them. I still remember pretty much every single book, all the specific scenes. My favorite ones were The Dead End and Curiosity Killed the Cat. One that like genuinely terrified me was called Her Evil Twin. And there was a specific scene in the bathroom where there was some weird ritual that happened with this girl and then there was like an evil version of her in the mirror like that scene scared me i was obsessed with those books i just love them with like my entire soul like my entire being next we have the babysitters club which my school's library had all these books and they were in this very specific cover and I, I love them. I can remember all of the scenes because I've just read them probably like a thousand, thousand times. Like I literally borrowed so many books from that library so consistently that I got the library award and I got a free book with it. This was another favorite from my school library. It was called My Sister the Vampire and I was not obsessed with them as much as I was obsessed with the first two book series that I mentioned, but I still like these. I liked them a lot. I just found them so interesting, so entertaining. There was then this book series like The Cupcake Diaries or something like that. Was it The Cupcake Girls? Cupcake? I, got, I don't remember what exactly. But I know that there was lots of drama. And I remember there was one very specific scene where like one girl had an older brother and one of the girls was in love with the older brother, but the older brother got a girlfriend and then it was like all this drama. That's that's all I remember from it. But I, but I do know that I borrowed those books quite a lot. And then I would borrow these books from both the school library and then my local library. And they were the Thea Stilton books. Thea Stilton and Geronimo Stilton were like these mouse authors. I was so confused as a kid because I'm like, why is it a mouse? You know, like, is the mouse that's impossible i still remember the first book that i ever borrowed from my local library it was a hardcover book and it was like a crystal kind of situation this brought flashbacks but i remember my friends and i we would have fights over who we thought each of the mouses represented more i think there was one with blonde hair named colette and like that was everyone's favorite everyone wanted to be her so many people were like no Colet is my spirit animal. Those are like five nostalgic book things. I just thought it was interesting to share. I just think it's so funny to remember stuff that I used to read, like obsessively read. Like I'm talking about obsessively. You know, when I was a kid, my punishment was getting my reading light taken away from me. Like I used to have a, well, I still have the reading light. It's this purple reading light. And my punishment, if I was a bad kid, I could only read up until bedtime. And then once I was in bed, like I couldn't do any more nightly reading because I'd been bad or whatever. So I would literally sneak into the bathroom and sit on the floor and read. If I had talked about this a couple years ago, I would have been made fun of. But now reading's popular. People should be able to relate to me. I just, I felt like giving a little bit of library book nostalgia, girl library book nostalgia. I feel like I want to make more of these. Now that I'm thinking about it, I used to read some interesting stuff. Like now if I read it, I would be like, what is this? But back then, I thought it was critically acclaimed novels that I was absorbing. Also, there's this weird tapping coming from my room. So if something happens to me, I don't know why there's been suspicious tapping in my room. This is the second night and I don't know what it is. No one knows what it is, but I'm kind of scared. 